the key to manifesting your dream life. Have you ever heard of that before? You know, this all came about through the secret. At least that's when I first heard about it. Right? They talked about creating a, your dream life, having a vision, doing affirmations, all of this stuff. Does it actually work? Can you manifest your dream life? Hey, I'm Mark Nelson. And I'd love it if you'd hit that subscribe button. I got great stuff for you. And today is going to be a special, special episode. So what do you think about the key, what the key is to manifesting your dream life? You know, it's really interesting because my guess is you've heard this. At least I've heard this is you don't keep your cell phone away from you. Don't let it be the first thing you get up to and don't let it be the last thing you get up to. And you know, to tell you the truth, it, it, sometimes it's hard. In this world right now, right, the political challenges, it was like, oh my gosh, what's going on in the world? And I caught myself waking up and looking at the news, reading the news. I'm not a watcher of TV, but I'll re I'd read about it. Then right before I go to bed, I do the same thing. And you know what happens? It starts manifesting inside you. You start thinking about that stuff. It starts controlling your moods. So I want to talk to you about the keys of manifesting your dream life. And number one is, I really believe this, you have to appreciate what you have. All right, so I've started changing what I do every day. When I wake up in the morning, my first thoughts is, what am I grateful for? And, you know, they can be really simple. My wife's next to me, so I'm always grateful for the both of us are waking up together. We have a great dog in the house. I'm grateful for that. I walk out in the in we live in an RV that we manifested. We live on a lake. And I'm grateful when I look out and I see the lake, it's like 20 yards below us. I mean, that is what we've done. But I'm very appreciative, appreciative of what we have. You know, maybe it's money. You know, do you pick up loose change? I pick up everything I find. I don't care if it's a head, it's a tail. And what I'll do, I always pick it up and say, it's an abundance of money. Thank you. I'm very grateful for it. I have a gratitude for the love of my life. I have two beautiful kids. I'm very grateful for those. And all of these, I believe I manifest. I was single a long time. I didn't think I was going to get married. I was lonely. But I kept seeing this girl from age 15. I kept seeing this girl. And guess who I met? And guess who is my dream wife? And we didn't think we were going to have kids. And guess what? We have two gorgeous kids. Now, were there things I've thought about that didn't work out? Yeah. Didn't work out to where I quite wanted them. But yet, I've manifested my dream life. And you can too. See, what you do is you need to control your thoughts. And many times, people are in a different environment. Right? You could be in an environment where I, I teach school. Sometimes it can be extremely negative, so I got to be very careful of my environment to stay positive. When I hear a negative thought, I need to throw it out because I can't think about that. I can't think about what is happening in the school environment or the political world. I need to control what I think about. So I've done two things every morning. I wake up. I write in a little journal, and I'm not a good journaler, but I really try to write down three things I'm grateful for. And then before I go to bed, I do the same thing. Not very long because I it doesn't I don't do that very well. Some people meditate. And all meditating to me is being very quiet. I take a walk. We live in a marina. So I take a two-mile walk on the docks with our dog every morning. And I get to see some amazing sights because of the wildlife and the sun and uh, it becomes real easy to be grateful for things. So I control my environment. And you need to do that too. The second point about this, you need to get very clear about what you want. Right? You can't be wishy-washy about this. There, there's a frequency thing going on. Let me talk about a little story. When I was teaching, there was a physics teacher by me. And he had tuning forks. And they would do this every year. They'd have a room of tuning forks and they'd take out one. And let's just say it was a C tuning fork. And they would hit that tuning fork. And you know what? Every tuning fork that was on that same 
frequency, vibration would start whatever that song is, <laughs> not that song, whatever that sound is, they'd all start sounding. So whatever you're doing, control what you're thinking about. Let it go. Let things go. You need to feel a certain way to attract it. Control your thoughts. Observe what you're thinking about. Be grateful for what you have and manifest your dreams.